Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left-hand corner, we have React starting as the Teal Protoss. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Mittac starting as the Hot Pink Zerg. This is on Ascension, and it is BSL Season 14, Hasu League Round of 8, Game 4. Mittac currently down two games to one, and he is on the verge of elimination. React looking very strong, and honestly, from everything I've seen, including the dispatching of Machine, I'm wondering if we're going to see React in the finals. This is going to be on Ascension, which does have... It's a little bit more of a... I'm almost wondering if Mittac opted for that 9 hash and wanted to de uh, dedicate with the Zerglings because it was a rampless map. However, React, opening up with his gateway build, has shown that he can easily, if he's paying attention, he can easily deal with that. I wouldn't be shocked to see another 9 hatchery again. I feel like you're actually just playing standard out of the 9 hatchery. It slows your economy down a bit, but I felt like there were, it didn't feel like it needed to be an all-in for Mintak previously. It, it is not necessarily as economically efficient as other builds, but anyway, this time we're seeing a 9 pool. Heads up. Which means React is really going to need to be on his toes. Don't see him plopping down a gateway just yet. Instead, he's interestingly scouting immediately after Pylon. So he's grabbed some resources. He's going to move a second probe out, which leads me to believe we're going to see a forge first build. Usually you want that tack down as rapidly as possible. And I'm almost wondering if <clears throat> the scout is to go ahead and get a look to see whether Nexus first can be executed or not. So the probe going to wander to the north. Unfortunately, not going to get first scout. Otherwise, would have known, okay, I need cannons and potentially two cannons to help deal with this. Mitek sending out his Overlord Scout to the north. Let's see if he just does scouting with Zerglings. And actually, looks like he's gone for the nine pool, but just wanted it for early Zerglings because he has actually flushed all of his larva into drones. So let's see if he just does the pair of Zerglings to follow this up. He's grabbing his natural expansion. Usually you open up the nine pool, you maybe because it is a three player map, maybe because he didn't see the probe Scoot across his base. This is going to open things up where... And that's unfortunate because, honestly, if he had gone for that straight Zergling Assault, it is possible that he would have been able to got, uh, land himself in a really quick victory. Would have been difficult for React to defend had he sent his Zerglings the proper direction. Four Zerglings moving out. Probe going to be escorted out. Looks like there are probes now. Going to block the way it allow that cannon to warp in. But now that gateway in the way, the cannon's going to warp in and... Let's see if the Zerglings actually are able to sweep back and hold this gap. It looks like they're trying to do some damage. Try to... Killing this early probe can be absolutely huge. Especially in the current meta of ZVP. Quick third hatchery. So it's going to be actually be extremely important to deny this information because we're going to a straight three hatch build. And unfortunately, information has not been denied, so... The Zerglings discovering the cannon, one of them losing their lives. As a result, the gateway is up, the Nexus also coming online simultaneously. React to a solid economic opener, but critically, he's able to see this instant 3-hatch build from Mittac. And Mittac has tacked on gas. We'll see if this is going to be 3-hatch Mutalisk. 3... In-base 3-hatch Mutalisk, or if it's going to be a shift to Hydralisk in the mid-game. Usually this indicates a 3-hatch, just a straight-up 3-hatch Mutalisk play, which means React should just go ahead and drop that Stargate, get his Corsair out, drop some preventative cannons, and play from there. However, if he keeps this... Looks like the layer morphing at the natural expansion, React able to get eyes on it, so he knows that, yeah, he's definitely going up against that 3-hatch Mutalisk style, which means he needs to get that Stargate down, needs to get the Corsair out. Seven so X core warping in. Got need core first. Second cannon on the front. And so now let's see how Mittac plays it. If he goes ahead, so he's grabbed a second gas. It looks like he might want to just do a straight dedication to Mutalisk, and it's possible he's going to try to do rotation on kind of that four hatch build as of late. Ooh, that probe. Just with a sliver of health left. The Zergling's still on the trail. A Hydralist then being dropped at the natural expansion now with Lair. Interesting. So I have not seen, I'll admit, I have not seen this build up to this stage. It is possible, so the Zergling has the kill in the corner. It is possible that this is going to be an attempt 
at the slow drop. So here though, it looks like rather than the ventral sax upgrade, we are getting the speed upgrade. So Mittac probably gonna fold this back into five hatch Hydralisk rapidly. There's the Stargate morphing in from React. Three Zealots marching their way out, not a huge attack force to deal with it as of yet. This is a decent SimCity if some Hydralisks end up behind this. And it could be a modification of... It, it's possible that Mittac's going to go for some form of a break here. Dropping Creek Colony behind this, but it really... Off the three hatch without the additional little bit of resources, it's a little... It's harder to execute on the front. And plus, these Zealots are going to be able to march in and see the Hydralisks. Actually going to send them home. Additional Hydralis being produced, the Creep Colony remaining unmorphed. Hydralis speed is going to be online. Citadel of Dune morphing in. Upon seeing those Hydralisks, React wisely opting to go ahead and skip that Scouting Corsair. Maybe a bit of an overreaction. I don't know that he needs five cannons on the front here, but potentially dropping the additional cannons just in case Midtech is in fact going for a Hydralisk bust here. There are a lot of Hydralisks making their way across. There's Lurker tech being upgraded, and I believe Mittech's plan from here is less attempting a bust and more going for an early game two base contain. Which can be very strong with the ramp kind of over the edge here. We can kind of morph in lurkers, morph in lurkers at this gap, and kind of play more of a loose contain where your opponent needs to run uphill to deal with you. Plus one weapon's about halfway finished. These Hydralisks want they have the range upgrade. Which actually is going to be a while, because range upgrade was skipped by Mittag. So he went for Hydra speed. Yeah, I think he just wants this rapid contain. He went from Hydra speed. He's going for very quick lurkers. First Corsair is going to wander out. Going to scout things. That drone a little bit off the line. He's going to be... Uh, oh, so we are going for a drop here. So speed's been upgraded. So it's going to be lurker drops. And I think upon seeing the three hatch, upon seeing the Hydra's den... Upon realizing that there's not a bust here, I got to expect that React is going to be able to respond to this. <laughs> cannon in the main. Additional cannon on that edge. Psystorm being upgraded. You can see the Zelts are already marching out to the upper right-hand corner to potentially deal with an Overlord incoming. The next question is, is will React have sufficient troops to deal with this? Aspire also being plopped down. Now that that Corsair has floated overhead. The nice thing about this for Mittech is, is while there is a bit of exposure where, okay, yeah, maybe the drop has been spotted, what he can do, and it looks like that, so that is going to complete, what he can do is, is he can kind of move out of this and transition back into a contain, right now loading up a lot of troops. The Corsair not in position to really sp sp spot it incoming. The Zealot's already in the backfield. High Templar being produced. Sidestorm is going to be upgraded. It's going to be a few seconds before Storm's online, and Mittac just might have an overwhelming amount of troops, but he's able to drop into the main before React is able to respond. So this Overlord being spotted and dealt damage to, but not the additional Overlord. One, and it looks like they're going to be able to unload their entire complement. One cannon down. Second cannon needs to stay alive. Otherwise, this entire natural, the, sorry, the main going to be breached. Now there's no detection. Just Zealous and High Templar. And the High Templar need to wait quite a ways before they're going to be able to storm those lurkers. But never mind, it looks like the lurkers were cleaned up. I take that back. They're just repositioning to the natural expansion, getting a huge amount of probe kills, an empty side storm. They are nine kills on this lurker already. And currently React not mining an overlord again scooping up. He's going to try to do some side storm dodging. It looks like another cannon being plopped at the main. Right now, Mittac doing an immense amount of damage, though. In delay and disruption, though, eating a huge high storm right there, taking out the Overlord as well. Mittac does need to follow this up with something, though. Right now, he's ahead in the worker count. He's got more Hydralisks. Looks like he's going to morph that something colony. He's got more Lurkers morphing on that overedge. It looks like he actually might even be able to take down a lot of pylons here. This cannon going to warp and probably take that Lurker out shortly does get a bonus kill 14 kills on that lurker zero kills on this one but might be able to shut down a lot of production 
There's one side storm. Is the second side storm there? Second side storm there is going to keep that pylon intact. However, more drops potentially incoming. More lurkers in position. So Mittac potentially in position to deliver a killing blow. Just in case, though, he's going to go ahead and grab that 3 o'clock base. He's got a drone position to do so. Looks like right now he's kind of deciding what he wants to do. He has forced a lot of Psystorm expenditure over just a handful of lurkers. So two lurkers dealt with, what, four Psystorms? So this is potentially going to be difficult to deal with, but we do have Dragoons and Archons now to deal with this. An Overlord maybe wanting to drop... Let's kind of keep in mind that it's there on the minimap. Potentially wanting to drop in the natural expansion. Actually, it looks like what it wants to do is, is get in that drop position to deal with that pile and once again. More drops to the north. The Corsair trying to deal with it. One cannon down. Second cannon down. Third cannon. All three cannons down. No detection as of yet. Actually, double observatory just in case. I think that might have been an emergency mistake. The Lurker's also dropping from the south. And the main once again getting battered. Zealot's being brought on top of the Lurker line. Looks like an observer is out. So there's detection to potentially deal with these Lurkers. But... React still needs to babysit that Observer. Sidestorm hitting two of those Lurkers to the north. Some Zelts eating some damage as they're making their way across. And React cleaning this up actually pretty well. So pushing back, able to take that Lurker out. Able to push forces to the south. And get an additional kill. So React actually... Doing okay, keeping his... I mean, he's been behind working. Another drop from Mittek. Mittek being relentless with the Doom drops. Now trying to pressure down that Nexus. Psystorm hitting a lot of those Hydralists. It is going to be close. Archon's pushing these Hydralists back. Are these Lurkers going... They're morphing right here in position. The Nexus is now battered. Mittek does need to take this Nexus out at this stage, though. Because he's actually, if this gets resaturated, React's not in that terrible position. He's up in supply. Lurker spawns. There is detection. Okay, it's quickly taken out. But React's done a fantastic job of keeping up on his probe production. He's got three Archons now. A decent attack force. He's still pinned to his base. Because if he moves out, there is potential for additional drops. And that Nexus could rapidly get taken out. Two more cannons being plopped down. Third base is up. It's just starting to saturate from mid-tech. But it's not over yet by any means or margin. A lot of Archons, a lot of Zelts to the north. Mittech needs to get something done with this. Might end up losing some Overlords in this drop. Zelt pushing in Psystorm behind it, and that drop very rapidly cleaned up. Nothing left in the Overlords. And now Mittech in trouble. Yeah, GG. Great defense from React. Things were looking dire for a minute there, but React able to just keep the pro count up, keep his base up, keep his tech up, have a dominable attack force, and just maintaining the economic lead in mid tech drops the game, which is going to send him out of BSL Season 14. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.